Hey Virgo. All right, you guys, let's get right into it. We're going to look into what is coming up for you in love, for you and the person on your mind, depending on what zodiac sign that person is, okay? So if you're dealing with a fire sign, be an Aries, Leo, or a Sagittarius, we're going to start off with you first. Then we're going to get into uh, you and the earth sign on your mind, Taurus, Virgo, and Capricorn. That'll be the second part, and so on and so forth, okay? Spirit for Virgos and the fire sign on their mind. What is coming up in love for Virgo and the fire sign on their mind? The Nine of Pentacles. I see y'all being single. Especially, I see you being single from this person. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. I see you being happily single, though. A part of reverse. Four of Pentacles. You could be um, focused on money right now. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. Focus on your own energy, protecting your energy, protecting your finances, saving money. Three of Swords. Yeah, a lot of y'all are protecting your heart because it's still wounded from someone. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. A lot of people wouldn't know it because they may see... Okay, a lot of you may be called bougie. Okay, some of you may be kind of high maintenance. I'm seeing someone here who is very financially abundant. And it may be hard to tell if you are heartbroken or if you are upset because of the material things that you have. Okay, the things you wear or the jewelry, um, the, the car you drive, the house you live in. There's something here about... It being kind of hard to tell if you're hurting or not. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. Because the Three of Swords, this, this, this emotional pain, this emotional loss feels hidden for some reason. Clarify Nine of Pentacles. I don't think it's purposely hidden though. I feel like if someone were to ask you, you might, you know, tell them if you trust them. But I think from, you know, from the, from, you know, from the outside, looking, um, looking on the outside, it looks like you're doing fine. But you actually may, like emotionally are kind of hurt about some, some kind of loss or breakup. Clarify nine of pentacles. Yeah. Yeah, unfortunately, I see the two of you kind of staying separate. I see a breakup. Some of you, if you're in a relationship or I'm not, right now, I'm seeing a breakup coming up for you. Um, where all this is going to kind of take place. This energy of, you know, money is kind of covering your feelings right now. But it's kind of giving that in the in the near future, you might have some kind of separation or start feeling the loss of someone. Clarify the Four of Pentacles. Oop. You maybe, yeah, I want to say you're trying to protect yourself from um, repetitive cycles, repetitive themes. This could also be you protecting your wealth and your fortune. Excuse me. Clarify three of swords. You may have a lot of abundance coming in right now. Yeah, three of swords, the empress. A lot, again, the way you're coming up, it will be hard to tell that you're even in pain of any sort. Um, now, for a small portion of you, we're going to get specific. There could have been a third party that got in between the two of you. Someone could have had uh, multiple lovers. Someone could have um, cheated. Okay, and that may have caused a separation. I see you two being broken up possibly because of an empress. This person could be someone's uh, mother. Okay, they could have ch um, a child or children. Um, it's possible someone could have gotten somebody pregnant or someone got pregnant on you. Um, something here about a pregnancy and a child. Clarify the lovers reverse. Someone could have cheated with someone's like baby father, baby mother, whatever the case may be. It seems like a parent situation here. Clarify the lovers reverse. If not, I'm just seeing a very established person kind of coming in between the two of you. Parent or not. Clarify the lovers reversed. Somebody's mother could have gotten between the two of you. Someone's like female family member could have gotten in between the two of you. Um, like could have been like instigating and kind of was the reason or the cause of the breakup. Clarify the lovers reverse. Yeah. I see it still being a trigger for you, still being like, I see both of you mutually being wounded by the ending. Both of you are frustrated and upset that this is happening or going to be happening. I mean, um, what is the nine of pentacles? Reverse. Yeah, the, yeah, there's a lot of conflict going on between the two of you right now, or there will be. Why nine of pentacles? Because something ended, yeah. Simple as that. Yeah, for some of you, if you're in a relationship, I'm seeing a breakup. Others of you, um, if you are separated, I see you doing better financially, 
but I still see this kind of wounding you a little bit, okay? Um, and making you feel triggered or make you, just make you feel some type of way because there there wasn't any... I, well, I'm not going to say that there's not going to be any proper closure. I think there will be. I think it's just going to stick with you for a while. Clarify the world. Unfortunately, I just see it kind of sticking with you for a while. Clarify the world. Yeah. I just got this randomly in my head that someone may feel like their pain is showing like boldly and outwardly toward people and it's not. It's not. If you're not, whether you're trying to cover up your feelings or not, it's not obvious to the people around you, okay? Some of you could be seeing 999 and the number 3, the 333 three, three could be significant or just 3s in general, but I'm seeing 9 of Wands, 9 of Swords, and 9 of Pentacles here, okay? So let's go ahead and move on to uh, the Earth signs, okay? But good luck with uh, your healing journey, okay? For the ones that resonate. Nice spirit for Virgo and the Earth sign on their mind. What is coming up in love for Virgo and the Earth sign that is on their mind currently? The judgment. Clarify the judgment. I'm part of the verse. One more. The Three of Pentacles. Clarify judgment. The Knight of Swords, clarify the judgment. The Two of Cups and Queen of Cups, beautiful. Okay, so I'm seeing some sort of, kind of gives like a, I don't know if it's a second chance or, or a rebirth. Um, for you and this person, I don't see a separation. Some of you could be separated and there's, this is the energy of the two of you coming back together or just coming together. Um, but for the ones of you who have this person in your life currently, what is judgment? Oh, uh, that's a decision. Okay, someone's making a final decision soon. Clarify two of swords about what? About what? Something that they're keeping secret, something that they're, that they're keeping hidden. Uh, what is this decision about? What is this big decision that someone's going to make in the near future? Well, a part of us. And one more. The star reversed and the five of swords. I don't know what the decision is, but it's the wrong one. Someone makes the wrong one. Well, okay. Well, it will. I wouldn't say the wrong one. Clarify the star reverse. It's an unwise one, and it's a big one. The star reverse. Someone's choosing to lose hope, or someone's lacking optimism. Someone's intuition is blocked as well. They're trying to use their intuition to make some kind of big decision about you. Or you're doing this. This could be you. Um, but what's coming up for you and this person, this earth sign of yours. Uh, one of you has a big decision to make that the other one really doesn't even know about. Um, and I see someone may be making an unwise decision. Clarify five of swords. Someone is choosing to go on the route of having... Excuse me, lack of optimism when it comes to a connection or clarify the five of swords. Clarify five of swords. Clarify three of pentacles. I gotta, what is this decision? Three of pentacles and four of cups. Okay, I'm seeing someone getting bored of a partnership. I'm seeing someone getting bored of being either in a third party situation or someone getting friend zoned. I'm seeing someone getting friend zoned possibly. Clarify Knight of Swords. The friend zone energy here where the two people are cordial. Clarify Knight of Swords. Someone will express their feelings. Clarify Two of Cups. Wheel of Fortune. I see it. Okay. This looks like an upgrade. Clarify Queen of Cups. This looks good though. Why does it look? It looks good. To the Four of Pentacles. Why judgment? Strength. Because something is getting stronger. Something is getting more powerful. Something is getting... Clarify the strength. I want to say two people are coming together. I really do. Yeah. Okay. 
Um, I want to say if you are friends with this person and there has been like, it's been completely platonic or uh, strictly business, uh, someone is going to express their feelings to you or you're going to express your feelings to them. And that's going to bring the two of you together romantically. Now, I also see if this is a third party situation and someone is to choose between you and someone else, they're going to choose you. Take whichever one resonates. I see both stories the decision someone's going to make is to lose hope in one situation and go toward another now like i said this could be them if, if this if this is a friend of yours if this is someone that you are not romantically involved with right now and y'all are kind of in a platonic connection if they have another person i see them getting bored of having like this love triangle thing or like or this could be you you just you getting bored possibly of a love triangle situation and you or them express the, your feelings or their feelings to the other and that brings the two of you into a romantic partnership to where it's just two of you so i'm seeing um a friends situation going from friends to romance and why is because the friendship is growing stronger and the friendship is more powerful and, and you know yeah, someone is now seeing that it could be something romantic. So you may have a relationship coming up. What's coming up for you in, a, in an earth sign, it might actually be a relationship. And I really want to say, what is the star reverse for? Losing faith or optimism in what? Someone could be tired of somebody's games. Someone may be losing hope or uh, someone could be losing hope or something in somebody's games. Or losing faith in a person because they're playing games or maybe being manipulative or petty or whatever the case may be and they're kind of getting tired of it so they're kind of pushing them out and maybe come to you you could be doing this to them what is the, the star reverse for why is someone getting this way with the star reverse a karmic individual there's a toxic person here who might only want sex somebody could have been a very just a, someone could, could have been involved and it was just a sexual thing it could have very well just been a sexual thing Okay, someone was thinking with their, is the queen of wands Virgo? No, it's some, it's some third party. I really want to say the, the what's coming up for you and an, um, an earth sign is someone choosing you over a sneaky link. Someone's choosing to commit to you because someone else is either toxic or it was just sex for them. It was just lust over there. Take it as it resonates. That person could be a fire sign or a Capricorn. Um, and the earth sign could be a Capricorn a or a Taurus. It could be any earth sign, but yeah. All right, let's go on to the air sign. All right, Spirit, what is coming up in uh, love for Virgo and the air sign on their mind? What is coming up in love for Virgo and the air sign on their mind? What is coming up in love for Virgo and the air sign? Hello, a part of verse. I brought it over. One more. Yeah, upright. Death. This could be um an ending of a relationship for the ones you in a commitment, okay? Or if you're in a talking stage or someone, this could be the two of you letting things go. Uh, this could also be a transformation going from one thing to another. So we'll see. This could be positive. Clarify death. But it's some sort of drastic transformation. Clearly, it's the death card. Clarify death. One more. Okay, the Eight of Swords. Clarify Death. Five of Swords and Five of Pentacles. Yeah, I see an ending. And I want to say as it should because, um, what the actual hell? Um,. Someone may ghost somebody. You might ghost someone or someone may ghost you. There's something here about someone feeling abandoned and stuck where they where they were left. Clarify the Eight of Swords. Someone got what they wanted out of someone. I'm getting like an energy vampire here where someone took everything, where someone's going to take everything from someone and leave them high and dry. Clarify the Eight of Swords. What in the world is going on? King of Swords and Knight of Cups. It's something that is something. Okay, if this is you, I'm seeing I'm seeing a bully and a victim. By the way, I am seeing a bully and a victim with the five of swords and the eight of swords. Um, something is going to end between you and someone, you and this air sign, um, because 
they're a bully. This could definitely be an Aquarius, by the way. Um, it's strong Aquarius coming up. Um, possible Gemini, but strong Aquarius coming up for this bully. I get a narcissist. Um, someone who knows what they're doing. Someone who's extremely intelligent and, a, and a highly narcissistic and manipulative and knows what to say with very with a very sweet tone, with a very sweet tongue. Something that they know will get your attention or will keep you stuck. So this person may say a whole lot of sweet nothing um, and that keeps you trapped and stuck in your head. They know what to do and what to say to get certain things out of you. Clarify Five of Swords. And they, they play these little mind games because they know it works. But I don't see it working much longer. I don't see them being around anymore. Clarify five of swords. Yep. This person wins by deceit. This is someone who is a by any means necessary, a cut corners to get what they want type of person. Someone who needs a lot of attention. Someone who didn't get a whole lot of love growing up. It's, got, it's given this. Um, but yeah, this is someone who cheats by you know so this one who cheats is somebody who lies they're deceptive um to get the things that they want to get victories to get attention to get these things here clarify five of pentacles and i say ending for you and this person i don't know why it ends but we'll see uh yeah the two of pentacles and seven of pentacles oops excuse me i'll find the reverse I probably never is. Two of Pentacles. Someone could this person could ghost you. Um and unfortunately it would result in you kind of feeling like you wasted your time. Yeah. One more time. Oh, I'm sorry, Pentacles. Upright. Okay. What is death here? What is death? But something that they say is gonna have you stuck in your head and it's going to drain you i don't know if it's financially or energetically or emotionally but in some way shape or form they like seeing you like that like the five of sort they look yeah they like seeing you like this what is death birds could be significant a bird just flew over like right here there's a window right here um what is the death card hermit reverse and magician and why death? Star. Someone got something they wanted. Clear out a star. So, so something's gonna end between you and someone because someone received something that they wanted. Yeah, so what's coming up for you is an ending between you and someone. Um, this could also be a situation where, excuse me, if this is already if this has already happened. If this has already happened, this is you getting over it. This is you healing. And why this all happening is because you're healing and protecting your heart and learn the lessons from the situation. Okay. Um, but yeah, it's very much given that a lot of you have been stuck in your head because of something that they're saying or are, you will be stuck in your head because of something that they're going to say. Um, and you're mentally going to be right where they want you to be. Uh, so that they can, for some of you, I want to say this is an on and off situation where they leave and come back, leave and come back. And it has you wondering like why you waste your time with them um and things of that nature so I'm, I'm if this has already been happening i see it continuing in the near future but I, not continue excuse me it'll end with the death card uh a lot of this will end okay um and i do see you healing from it too okay but yeah just cut yourself off from this person I don't, child but this could definitely highly be an aquarius um i see gemini too but yeah so just be careful and just you know keep your eyes open all right uh and then for water signs all right, Spirit for Virgo and the water sign on their mind. What is coming up? Oh, what is coming up for the for Virgo and the water sign on their mind? What is coming up for Virgo and the water sign on their mind? The six of swords. Now that could be you moving on from this person altogether, like leaving them behind. That could also be um, you and this person moving forward from some kind of conflict and moving forward together to calmer waters and coming out of problems and drama. Clarify Six of Swords. Let's see which one it is. Four of Wands. It looks like to come in. It looks like moving forward together. Clarify Six of Swords. There goes the conflict and drama. One more. Yeah. 
that conflict and whatever problems y'all had, um, they're going to be resolved. Okay. Um, everybody's putting their torches down and their, you know, their knives and their guns down. There's no more war. The two of you will be moving forward together in peace. Clarify the six of swords. Possibly some apologies here. I'll probably go first. One more. So if you've been having problems with someone, um, this is for you. Yeah, if you if you've been bumping heads with somebody, now I do see even when things do get clear and uh, the path seems like there's nothing blocking y'all from getting to where y'all want to be, um, whether that's with you know having kids or getting married, living together, whatever the case may be, um, I do see you still feeling a type of way mentally. We'll get into that and see why that is. Clarify the four of wands. Clarify the four of wands. The emperor. Some of you could. This could be your husband or your wife. Some of you. This could. This could definitely be a husband or a wife for you. Okay. Um. If that's not the case, it's somebody who provides for you or, or you live with or they live with you. Whatever the case may be. I'm seeing a provider here. Um. Uh, very uh, strong divine masculine here. You two. If not, you two. You could have uh, a child or children. This could be. Uh, I was gonna say this could be Aries, but it's it's heavy Aries here. Someone got Aries in their placements. Real strongly. Clip up five of wands reverse. I'm part of the reverse. One more. Four cups reverse. Yeah, I get like a reunion. And then that kind of helps the two of you drop your issues. And it's, I feel like it's because someone doesn't want to miss an opportunity to continue on a journey with you that they, that they had started with you already. Someone's trying to be very mature and, and very wise and handle this the best way possible. Someone is taking an opportunity. Someone feels like they're being offered an opportunity to continue the relationship or to continue the re the connection and they don't want to miss it Clef they don't want to miss out Clef I'm nine of swords yeah the problem is you i want to say this is you you are still worried about a betrayal or still stressed out or thinking about past pains past traumas that got y'all here in the first place so i do see you still being stuck in the past mentally um, what is it? The swords. Like y'all are moving forward together, but I still see you being stuck on it. And I just I don't see you being too at at ease at all about it. What is it? The swords. I see you kind of being stressed the hell out about it. And it's like yeah, I got my person back, but at what cost? Like it kind of feels like that. Like like I'm still stressed out. I'm still anxious. I still fear the worst. I'm still expecting the worst. It kind of feels like just negative thoughts, like full on full blast negative thoughts. Um, play for the king of wands. This is all. Um, this what's happening here is someone taking a. Someone definitely has Aries in their chart. Um, got like three Aries cards here. This is someone being bold enough to go after something that they want and envision with the other person. I think this is them coming to you, being bold and going after this uh, marriage to save a marriage with you or save a relationship with you or to go after getting to that point so trying to get to a point where y'all can get married and have kids and all that kind of stuff this person has deep love for you and deep passion for you in this relationship why six of swords i just see you being in doubt why six of swords i also see you being afraid that, that the, the relationship is going to end altogether. why six of swords because it's time to move forward no more blockages the road is clear clap my chariot Even though a lot of y'all, yeah, one more time. Yep. A lot of y'all are going to move forward with a lot of doubt and fear that it's either going to end or you're going to think about what happened between the two of you um, over and over again on a loop, like daily, nightly, whatever case may be. I see you think about it a lot. So try not to stay stuck there because y'all are moving forward, but you mentally are not. Y'all are moving forward together, but you're stuck here.
So just be real careful about that. I'm seeing your anxiety being through the damn roof soon, okay? Um, but it does look good for the two of you, but it doesn't look too well for you. So just try to stay positive, think optimistic um, thoughts about this person in your relationship. And it's, it's, easier, said, it's easier said than done, um, but it is possible. So just try your hardest um, and, you know, remember why you got this person in the first place. <laughs> I don't, know, I don't know but honestly though honestly just remember how you know how y'all got together in the first place remember positive things things like that okay um this person could definitely have fire, a heavy fire in their chart too they might not just be an air sign this could be a cancer though specifically for um most of you I see cancer and pisces but i see special, specifically cancer okay that's all i have for you today hopefully you enjoyed and if you did make sure you like and subscribe and i'll talk to you guys later bye